Something strange is happening in the Pacific Northwest, a merging of missing people and what seems to be supernatural phenomenon. We'll start off in Humboldt County, which has earned the nickname the Black Hole. And this is because an average of 717 people per 100,000 go missing in Humboldt County every year, giving it the highest per capita missing persons rate in the state. By contrast, per 100,000, California sees 300 and 84 missing persons cases on an annual basis. Now many of these missing cases are probably due to the fact that Humboldt County is part of the Emerald Triangle. People from all around the world come to the Emerald Triangle to grow marijuana legally and illegally. This of course leads to probably the majority of the missing persons cases in Humboldt County. But there are still some strange cases. And beyond that, the Emerald Triangle is the beginning of a very strange phenomenon happening in the Pacific Northwest. One strange case of a mysterious disappearance is Christine Walters, who vanished in broad daylight. When she first came to Humboldt, it said she was a gregarious and upbeat person. She then grew paranoid, however, and was convinced someone was out to get her. One day she went out for a walk at 1 p.m. and asked someone for directions at 3.30 p.m. and she was never seen again. When a subscriber passed that article along to me that Humboldt County is the black hole of California for missing people, it instantly made me think that I know Humboldt County is the beginning of the area where people claim to see a lot of Sasquatch sightings. Now I don't know what this entity that people are seeing is, but it seems to me that it could be maybe something from the Nephilim offspring, or maybe some type of spiritual phenomenon that breaks from the dimension it lives in into our dimension the same way UFOs do that the United States Navy and government now admit are not our crafts breaking through into our dimension. Which got me thinking I knew that Oregon and Washington, the Pacific Northwest, also have high cases of supposed Sasquatch sightings. So when I typed in Washington missing people rates, I was shocked to see this article. Washington among top five states with the most missing persons per capita, the report says. I continued to look into this and found this article, which states have the most missing persons, and three out of the top four states are in the Pacific Northwest. Now, California isn't even on this list in the top 10 states, but right where California starts to become the Pacific Northwest in Humboldt County, we have the highest per capita missing persons rate per county in the entire nation. Now, there's a few maps that I want to put up on screen that have some strike Striking similarities. First is a missing persons cluster map that we can see here. I'm assuming the information on this map was taken from David Polite's work, Missing411. Of course, check him and his channel out if you're interested in this stuff. But here we have this missing persons cluster map, and now we can look at a Sasquatch sighting map, or whatever this big entity is walking in the woods. Extremely similar if you look here at the Pacific Northwest. Again, missing persons and now this Sasquatch entity sightings. I also found this map of UFO sightings from 1995 to 2014. As you can see in the Pacific Northwest, it's practically identical to the other maps. Something worth pointing out as well is a map of the known cave systems in the United States, and as we can see, striking similarities again. Which led me to Alaska and Canada, and it continues to get strange up there. An interesting fact about Canada is that 90% of Canada's population lives within about 100 miles of the United States border. So the vast majority of the landscape in the wilderness up there is completely uninhabited. Canada, of course, bordering Alaska, and there's a strange phenomenon that happens up in Alaska, and it's an area of Alaska known as the Alaska Triangle, which is very similar to the Bermuda Triangle known for disappearances and strange occurrences. Since 1988, over 16,000 people have mysteriously gone missing across the Alaskan Triangle. One strange case of an incident there is when the US House Majority Leader Hale Boggs' airplane vanished somewhere between Anchorage and Juneau in 1972. The disappearance triggered one of the country's largest ever search and rescue operations involving 40 military craft, 50 civilian planes, and 39 days of searching an area of 32,000 square miles. Yet the search yielded not a shred of results. No wreckage, no debris, no human remains, nothing. After this incident, Congress passed a law mandating the installation of emergency locator transmitters in all U.S. civilian aircraft. 
With all these strange occurrences, it really seems as if maybe Humboldt County, the Emerald Triangle, is the beginning of a strange area of supernatural phenomenon stretching from California all the way up to the tip of Alaska. Looking online, there's a lot of rumors of Humboldt County, Eureka, all these areas, the woods around Humboldt, having stories of hauntings, strange figures, of course, the mass Sasquatch sightings, but nothing so out of the ordinary that I found it worth putting in. Similar stories of hauntings and Native American burial grounds stretch all throughout the United States and Canada as well. But the point to come back to is that Humboldt County North, Oregon, Washington, Alaska, all these areas have very high missing person rates in comparison to the rest of the United States. Along with the Sasquatch sightings, the UFO maps, these maps of missing person clusters, and even cave systems, seems as if there may be a supernatural occurrence happening here to cause, maybe, these people going missing. The missing persons is of course a tragedy, so prayers for the family are definitely encouraged, as well as if you ever go into the woods, it's important to take a GPS locator device that works outside of cell service, as well as a firearm is recommended. Dave Polites and Missing 411 has said those two things I think have never been found in a case of somebody who's gone missing. These entities, these phenomenon may be tied to offspring, remnants of the Genesis 6-4 era, or maybe some type of spiritual phenomenon that's ramping up and breaking through the veil in the last days. Something is definitely happening with missing people in wilderness areas, and it seems to be something that doesn't fit the mainstream narrative, something that has a supernatural tie to it. So as we try to figure out what the supernatural cause may be, let me know in the comments what you think it is. Is it something from the Genesis 6-4 era, a Nephilim or its offspring, something with the UFO connection tied to these things that are breaking in and out of our realm, or something else? Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching, and God bless. It was long as our boat. Taller than a ceiling. That wide. It's two big eyes looking at me. It was huge. It wasn't no bear. It was big. Even when he was squatted down, washing his hands, it was still darn near as tall as I was. But my grandma kind of referred to him as an ancient people, not as an animal, per se, a dog, or, or any other animal, but like us, but just choose not to live amongst us because of the way we act.